Hi guys, welcome to Joshua's Tech Tips. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to in upgrade your Unify controller that's installed on a Ubuntu server. So right now, um, I'm on 5.12.35 version of the Unify controller. And this is outdated, so I want to update this. So I'm just going to sign in. As we can see, the current controller version is 6.0.23, so I'm way behind in terms of um, the version I'm currently at. So you may be thinking to click on the download button to update it, but that's actually not how it works. See, now this is a cloud-hosted Ubuntu server. So what we need to do is actually bring up a SSH session. Um, in my case, I'm using PuTTY to SSH into the server. However, you could use whichever um, SSH client you prefer. So I enter the IP address of the server and click open. Next you need to enter your username as well as password. Next we want to head over to Ubiquiti's website and go to the download section. And head over to the Unify tab. So we're specifically looking for the controller software. So we're gonna go on the software, and here we'd see all the different controller versions. For example, we'll be using Linux since it's a Linux server it's hosted on. So I'm gonna click on the download button and accept the terms and conditions. And what you're actually going to do here now is going to copy the URL. We're not going to download the file, but we're going to copy the URL because remember, we're connected to this via SSH. All right, so click copy URL. Next, we're going to head back over to our SSH session and type in ls just to make sure there's no files underneath there. Next, we're going to type in wget space and we're going to paste the URL here. All right, and press enter and give it a few seconds for it to download the controller file. So now that it's finished download, if we type ls, there we can see the file is there. So to install the package is pretty simple. We're just going to type dpkg space dash i space and enter the file name once you begin typing the file name you can hit tab and it should autofill and press enter so i'm actually getting an error it says i need super user privileges so i need to run the sudo command before i run this command because my controller is actually hosted on azure so I'm going to re-enter the command with sudo in front of it, which would give me super user privileges. So it's prompting me for my password, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that. So as we can see, it's began unpacking the file. It's prompting us to create a backup and I do recommend creating a backup before performing any upgrades. I'm going to select yes. So we just need to leave it a few seconds for it to unpack and install the controller software. So the update seems to be finished. So let me take a look at my controller version and yes, as you can see, it says 6.0.23 so it has been upgraded successfully. Let's sign in now. And as we can see, everything appears to be working great. So guys, I would recommend before updating your controller, be sure to read the documentation for the new releases, just to make sure that there, um, there are no bugs or any issues that you may run into. And that brings us to the end of this video. Remember guys, if you found the content useful, be sure to like and share. Also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to be notified once a new video is released. Thanks again for viewing. See you soon.